Hello everybody, my name is Vagrasso and today we are back with another video. Today we are playing Will You Press the Button? So basically this game is just like a, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this before actually a few months back. This is kind of like a would you rather thing. Like for example, this first question is, uh, Call of Duty is cancelled, but kids will now flood into other franchises such as Valve games. It's like, pretty much they're giving you a topic, but there's a catch to it, so... If you press the button, it means you agree to this, but I don't know if I agree to this because if Call of Duty is canceled, I don't really play Call of Duty that much. I play more Valve games like I play uh, Counter-Strike Gary's Mod. I know Gary's Mod isn't by Valve, but it was like sponsored by Valve or something like that. But I don't freaking want 11 year old kids coming from Call of Duty squeaking in their mic coming on Counter-Strike. I mean, that's pretty much why I don't play Counter-Strike anymore because it's pretty much already gotten to that point where they're sitting there, two kills, 15 deaths, and I'm sitting here carrying everybody sometimes but sometimes <clears throat> i'm the one with two kills 10 deaths but yeah i'm gonna go ahead i will uh not click the button because okay thank you a lot of people agree with me but yeah so that's pretty much the whole entire game and yeah okay here's an interesting one there's you stay healthy no matter what you eat but you can't read Okay, so this one's interesting because it says you stay healthy no matter what you eat, but you can't read. So, we read like so much every single day, so that'd be really tough. But you stay healthy no matter what you eat. You could be going around eating donuts all day and you'll be looking like really good. But then, of course, you have to exercise because if you didn't exercise and you're eating healthy, you're just going to get like really skinny pretty much. Because like I'm reading right now, I wouldn't be able to read this right now. I'd have to use like some sort of like text to speech thing. I'd have to have someone with me at all times. I think I'm not gonna press the button because you can always, you can always live your normal life, eat healthy, eat some junk food, and be able to read and live your perfectly normal life. I will not press the button. Okay, good. Top comment said, "I like to read. I already eat whatever I want, and I'm still healthy." See, that's there you go. You get to choose your lifestyle, and you can read. It's a win-win for everybody. Okay, you will have an unlimited supply of free software or video games. But you find out your parent, <laughs> you find out your parent is a porn star, and you are forced to watch videos with them in it. Oh my gosh! Unlimited supply of free software, video games. So like, when the new freaking uh, when a new game comes out and it's freaking two hundred dollars, you get that for free. See, that's the thing. How many videos am I forced to watch? Like, that's that's tough, man. That's tough. Because that's thinking, like, a new version of Sony Vegas Pro, new editing software comes out, and it's $1,000, but I want to get it for free. I can get it for free if I press this button. I will press the button, only because it doesn't. It says you have to watch videos, so I'm get, assuming a few videos. Just watch them all in one day. It's over with. You get unlimited supply of free software video games for the rest of your life. I will press the button. This dude says, Andrew Gibson didn't say porn videos. That's true. That's true. See? That helps me prove my point. It just says, it just says you find out your parent is a porn star. That's it. And it's, you're forced to watch videos with them in it. It could be my YouTube videos. <coughs> there you go. Fine. My parent, my parent could be a, an actress. I watched their movie. There you go. This one, restart your life with all the knowledge you currently have. But you can't recreate the relationships you have you uh you have currently, which is friendships, romance, etc. See, I'm only like, <laughs> oh, this top comment. Okay, it says um, I can't show you right now. It says imagine being in kindergarten. I would be the smartest person there. That is true. Freaking teachers yelling out, "Hey, what's uh ten times 10? Sitting there blurting it out. Everyone's sitting there sucking on their thumbs and stuff. See, see, I'm pr I'm pretty young. I'm only I'm still only 15 years old, so I don't have like if I was like let's say I was like 25, like in my 20s or 30s, I'd have so much more knowledge that if I could go back, I would probably I would probably press the button if I was older because I had more like knowledge to life and stuff. But since I don't know r right now, as of now, I will not press the button because I feel like it won't be that helpful in the long run. I'm not even out of school yet. You can run as fast as Flash, but your feet make meow noises with every single step. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't see the downside to this. This is, uh, it's pretty easy to out, out press the button. 
You will live in your dream world, but it is only in your head and all the other people think you're crazy. This is pretty much like the, the world I'm living right now. I mean, it's a pretty good world. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, press that button. It's, yep. Pretty, uh, no, no difference pretty much. Uh, yeah. No, next, next question. You gain the ability to alter reality and the ability to jump between existing realities, including books, movies, games, and... Okay, so they're saying, like, if you're reading a book, you can, like, jump into the book. You can become part of the book. Or if you're in a movie, like, let's say you're watching... Bro, uh, like, imagine you're watching Spongebob and you can just, like, whoop, like, jump through the TV like in uh, Fat Albert or something. Uh, but once you use one of these abilities, you lose the other permanently. I think I would press the button on this one, cause if I lose the other, if I lose the other uh, ability, I can just alter reality into whatever I want. It's just no, no downside. Once again, no downside. It's just I lose the ability, but I can just I can alter reality into whatever I want. There you go. Press the button, baby. Show me the money. Seventy-three percent. You can have any Pokemon you want, but you do not get a Pokeball. You have to walk with it everywhere. I mean. That's not that. See, I don't think that's that bad. I wouldn't. I don't feel like I'd want to keep it in a Pokeball. It's just like, feel. I mean, this is kind of like a question. It just kind of makes me think about like dogs. Like, if you're if you're at your house, are you gonna keep your dog in the cage the whole time? Or are you gonna keep it, let it walk around with you, like cuddle up with you? It's like a Pokemon. Are you gonna keep it in the cage all day, or are you gonna let it walk around, explore the world? I would for sure press the button on this one. I wouldn't want to keep it in a little cage all day. I'd like. I wanted to explore the world. Yeah, I'd for sure press the button. Yeah, for sure. 21%. What the heck are you doing with your life? You can have access to anything you want in the world, but you have to share everything with 10 seven-year-olds. I don't know what I would do, but this top comment, I can't show you again. It says, I'm cool with sharing everything with 107-year-olds. They're pretty neat old folks. So it says 10 seven-year-olds. Let's say I bought like a, like a, a huge gaming, like a really expensive gaming setup like a ten thousand dollar gaming setup but then some seven-year-olds come over here with their lollipops getting all the crumbs on my keyboard and touching my computer like sucking their thumbs getting slobber all over everything getting my whole thing all sticky see that would annoy me that annoys me now i have friends that come over they just don't they they eat out my desk and it just it's, it's a pet peeve of mine i like to keep my stuff clean so i will not press the button but i guess 61 percent of other people would okay <laughs> you will have a neat sweater but it's kind of itchy the top comment eyelashes if you don't know what that's from get the freak off the video do you love it it's a little itchy what's this thing made of eyelashes i will not press the button I can get myself a neat sweater wherever I want. That's not it. You will become a god, but you will become a god, but you won't. You won't be able to do anything. Those two statements like completely contradict each other. Being a god is having like the power to do everything. I guess I mean the only upside to this at this point is to have people like, like admire you and look up to you that's pretty much if you won't be able to do anything like it just does it just doesn't make sense i will not press the button all right here we go the final one you have a daughter who becomes famous and gives you a hundred thousand dollars a year but <laughs> she's ugly are you kidding me my daughter becomes famous but she's ugly no nah, i don't really care i really don't Honestly, if my daughter gets $100,000 a year, she's doing something right. Who cares if she's ugly? Looks don't freaking matter. Like, she's successful. She's wealthy. That's all you could ever want for your daughter. Like, you'd, you'd be happy for it. You're not going to be like, sorry, I'm not going to take this money. You're ugly. So, go back. Go live your normal life. Get back in your bedroom. Yep, goodbye. Because you're, you're ugly. So, I, so you can't be famous because you're ugly. I will for sure press that button. That See, that's the biggest margin today. 85% and 15%. 15% of people wouldn't take $100,000 a year from their daughter just because she's ugly. There you go.
that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to stay beautiful. And goodbye.